you know, the, the story is really about um, cl clutching on to the person or the people that you love the most and, and getting through crazy, unprecedented times. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So we are recording. Oh my God, thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to talk to you. And oh my God, what is an amazing movie. I really enjoy watching. And and I can be I cannot believe you made this movie in 2019. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so relevant right now. <laughs> what do like what do you can you talk a little bit about this guessing yeah. game? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we weren't trying to predict anything, that's for sure. We we just, at the time, thought we were making a science fiction romance that was uh, imagining a different world where uh, a pandemic had swept across the globe. And uh, we took the concept seriously and, and, and tried to have characters that were grounded and, and imagine what, what people would really do in a situation like that. Um, but never in our wildest dreams did we think that before the movie came out, we would all be dealing with it ourselves. And it's been strange and scary and gratifying, all, all kinds of different things, seeing how similar real life has ended up turning out to, to be to what we imagined. Yeah, no, but it's, it's amazing. I really enjoy watching. And, but I, I want to know what, like, what was about the script, but like when you first read the script, what got your attention? I know that it's based on a short, a short film, mm -hmm. but what was about the script that popped up to you? Well, it was really, really well written by this guy named Mattson Tomlin. And very few scripts, when you read it, that you just immediately jump out uh, and you can see it in your mind as a film. And, and this was one where I just could uh, immediately see the scenes, the the characters, and, and I just wanted to, as quickly as possible, get them into real life because it was such a vivid movie in my mind. Uh, but also I, I connected to the, the story and the characters because um, at the time that I was reading it, um, you know, there was all this terrible news uh, going on with children being in, in, in cages on the border of the US and um, scientists were saying we only had 20 years left to address global warming or it was gonna be too late and um, all these other things. So it's, it, I felt like there was so much doom and um, like the world was crumbling a little bit and yet uh, in my own life, in my personal life, my girlfriend was pregnant with our first child. And so there was a lot of, of love and uh, attention and focus on on the future and, and just, you know, I, I related very much to the idea of having to block out all these terrible things from the outside world so that you can do whatever you need to do to move on and get day to day, uh, get through each day with the person that you love. So, uh, I felt that that was a very relatable topic and and now even more so as everyone has to deal with yeah. just getting through day by day. Yeah, no, exactly. And the cast, I I love everything that Jack does. So mm -hmm. I think it was his it was a perfect choice. Also Olivia Cook, she's awesome. And Raul Castillo, which is amazing yeah. on this, on these like the the how how they they came aboard and what were and why I, they are perfect to play those roles? Well, uh, Olivia came on board very, very early, long before even me. She uh, knew Matson, and as he was writing the script, he was writing it with her in mind. And she was a producer on the movie as well as an actress. So um, the part written for her and, uh, and then uh, to find the right guy was, it, it took a little time and, um, Olivia is a fan of, of Jack's and I'm a fan of Jack's and um, for a much different part from anything he's ever done before. So uh, we thought that was exciting. And so when he came on board, um, Matson even changed a little bit of the script with Jack's input. Um, so we had a chance to mold that character a bit for Jack. And um, 
And Raul, I've actually known for 10 years because one of his very, very first movie roles was in a, a small indie called Cold Weather that my, my best friend made. And so I remember meeting him during that and, and just being really impressed with him. And then he went on to do that show Looking and I thought he, he was amazing on that show. So I've wanted to work with him for a long time. And, uh, and so I, I asked him to do this and he luckily said yes, because he's, he's gonna be a very big star very soon, I think. I agree. <laughs> I think he's very <laughs> talented. Yes, yes. Also, I wanna point it out about the cinematography is very colorful, very rich. What was like the, the approach with Sean? Uh, Sean is also one of my very best friends. We went to film school together. So I've known him for 20 years and we've done all, all my projects have been with him. So um, we work very, very well together and, and uh, have the same taste. And, and uh, so coming in, we, we talked a lot about color. We talked a lot about um, how to, how to approach the three different timelines. Cause there's the present, there's the past, and then there's a false version of the past, um, false memories. And we decided pretty early on that we didn't want to have really strong visual indicators for each and have it be more of a continuous flow. And you maybe aren't exactly sure if you're in the present or if you're in the past. Um, and it has more to do with the way the actors are behaving or something else that gives you the clue, but not, not something so overt with the cinematography. Um, so we took a grounded approach, but we always try to think about how color or composition or camera effects can help tell the story. And, uh, and I, I feel like those are tools that, uh, you know, are, 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 can be so valuable. And, and especially in indie film, it's easy to forget about or not focus on. But, um, but yeah, color, color is something that we talk about from the very beginning and how we can best utilize it and, and tell the emotions of the, of the scene through the, the look. Yeah, the scene in the store when they buy the, the, the fish is so mm -hmm. beautiful and everything. Yeah. Like, and then you, you also talk about the three, the, to differentiate the three words. Uh, what, uh, how was like, so the, the, the editing process? Because I didn't feel that it was like, I think, I thought that it was like seamless, like the way the mind goes. Mm -hmm. And I like that. So, but how, how did you decide to do that route? Like, <clears throat> because I think it was difficult when you have like, fake memories, the real memories yeah. and the real time <laughs> happening. Yeah, yeah, it was written into the script. The script was already kind of jumping around in time. And so we knew that we would be shooting scenes so that they could take place, so that they could be put up against scenes in the present. You know, we knew that it was gonna be jumping around. So, um, but the approach that Sean and I took where it wasn't going to necessarily be that different allowed us to be free in the editing to really move things around because um, there wasn't like such strong visual markers. So uh, it was a lot of fun, but also a big challenge because we literally could have edited it 1000 different ways. Um, and uh, we tried so many different orders and, and maybe this scene is most effective in the middle or at the end or at the beginning. And, and we really had the freedom to, to mess around. So, uh, the final product is a lot different from the script in terms of the order, but it keeps the same exact spirit of the script in that it was already kind of jumping around. And, and the most important thing was that the, the continual rising uh, through line was the, the, the relationship and the feelings of, of losing someone slowly. Yeah. And, and in this whole process, like you said, the, the the script got you because of like personal, uh, in a personal level, anything like that. What did you learn about yourself doing this movie? Well, <clears throat> that you can share. Good question. <laughs> good question. Um, this movie was a lot. Uh, this is my fourth movie, actually, and it's the first one that I didn't write myself. And um, usually, uh, I 
I feel like the confidence that I have as a director comes from the fact that I've written the screenplay. So I know the most about the characters. I know the most about the story. And you know, everyone else can be experts in the technical aspects. But if, if they have a question about the movie, I know the answer because I'm, I know the most. And in this case, there's someone else who knows the most. Uh, and so I have to sort of sprint uh, to a point where I can overtake him and be the definitive authority on the material. And it, it had to do with, it was a, a much different process and a much different experience to, to try and catch up with the writer and then pass the writer and, and all these other people so that I became the person who really knew the material the best. And, uh, and I, I found that I, I enjoyed that. I, I enjoyed the process of working with a writer and, and having another brain, another voice to bounce ideas off of. And, um, and uh, I just, yeah, I think I learned a lot about working with actors as well because <clears throat> Jack and Olivia are both amazing actors, but they have different styles as is often the case. And, you know, it's about learning how to bring out the best of both of those styles and make them work together. And um, they have amazing chemistry as, as you can tell. So um, it was, it was a, a lot of fun. And, and I think I learned a lot about filmmaking. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and what do you want the, and what do you think the audience is gonna take away from the movie, from Little Fish? That's, <clears throat> that's tricky because, you know, it's so different from when we initially set out what I imagine people will take from it. Now, I hope that uh, it, it reminds people of what's important and maybe what could be taken for granted. You know, this, this story is really about um, cl clutching on to the person or the people that you love the most and, and getting through crazy unprecedented times uh, by just focusing on what you have together. And, and obviously that's a lesson we, we all can learn. Uh, and so I, I hope that um, that's what it does. And, and, and it feels a little cathartic and therapeutic to watch someone else go through the same thing we're all going through now. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, a, it's an amazing movie. I really enjoy watching and I hope everybody enjoy as much as I did. And I just want to thank you so much, Chad, for your for your time and a lot of success. And I cannot wait thank for you. your next project. Thank you very <laughs> thank much. You. Yes. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.